Denise, it's your girl Chalet, and I'm back today with a highly requested video on how I paid off $90,000 worth of student loans within 10 months. Now, I did not follow the Dave Ramsey's program. However, I have followed that program in the past, and I will definitely link some videos down below on my debt-free journey. But with this journey, it was just some things that I had learned over time, and I just wanted to really try this on my own to see exactly what I can do. So I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory. I will definitely insert a timer in here. So if you just want to hear the tips, I understand. I get it. However, if you want to hear my backstory on how I got to this point, then stay tuned and I will try to make it as brief, brief as possible. Got it? All right. So first things first, um, with my student loans, I want to say I had $190,000 worth of student loans. Yeah, that sounds really crazy just saying this out loud. But I had $190,000 worth of student loans. Um, I grew up where I did not have a family that was known for or had been informed of financial literacy by no means at all. I was the first child to actually go to college um, from my parents. And so they were not aware of how college worked. I was not really aware of how college worked and I went out of state to college. Um, I did not go to a private school because I know some people will ask that. And then I also received two degrees. So I have two bachelor's degrees and one master's. And at the end of the whole process, I end up owing $190,000. All right, with that being said, the 190 that I owed, I joined the military. So once I joined the military, they instantly gave me a $50,000 student loan repayment program which brought my total down to $140,000, $53,000 of that I owed to Navient, which was a mixture of private student loans as well as federal student loans. And then the bulk or the rest of the $80,000 I owed to the Department of Education. So not only did I have my student loans, but my husband also has student loans as far as when he went to go get his master's. So he graduated undergrad, he didn't have any debt at all, decided to go get his master's in engineering, and then he ended up having about $37,000 worth of debt. So here we are, this brand new couple, we have all this debt over our head. It was crazy, it was bananas, I'm not going to lie. But what I end up doing was I told my husband one like I end up going to the thrift store and I started just buying books on finances and just started reading and really started developing myself and I was like you know what it's not that bad at all so I want to encourage anyone in this video if you have a lot of student loans and you just feel like you're stuck in the mud you don't know what to do you don't know how you're going to do it I promise you it does get better just really devise a plan so now that we have all the background <laughs> information out the way let's go ahead and get started so, all right, so tip number one I end up doing was actually going to the National Student Loan Data System. And when I went to that system, it actually gave me a full printout of all the student loans that I had, all the colleges that I went to. So I really wanted to know what was my starting number. And I'm not even gonna lie guys, when I seen that starting number, I was like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? However, I was honestly ready to really tackle that number. So if you really just want to know how much you owe, I definitely suggest that you just log on to the National Student Loan Data System. And I'll leave the link down below in the description box. And you really just find out. And once you find out that number, just kind of devise a plan on what exactly you want to do, how long you want to do it. So don't rush, don't pass out don't be intimidated it happens i mean you're not the only one clearly there's almost three billion people that owe student loans as well you're just now one of the statistics okay <laughs> so no worries at all and you're doing what most people won't do is you're looking at it you're trying to get in front of it you're trying to do that so just log on and get the number and it will be okay can we all do that Let, let's let's agree that we're going to log on and we're going to get the number all right so let's go ahead and go to tip number two all right so for tip number two is i devised a plan and i really started to research 
So I ended put myself on a eight year plan where I wanted to pay off $25,000 per year towards my student loans. So that was my plan. I definitely suggest that you devise a plan, but also I started to research, meaning I started to look online and see what programs did my state offer for student loan forgiveness or student loan repayment, or did they even just have any programs at all for my state? Which in return, I figured out Alabama, sadly, did not have any repayment options or where they gave out money. Also, not only did I look at my state programs, I looked at my employee programs. Does my employer offer any programs that they will match me on my student loans that they would pay or do anything? Sadly, but not, they did not pay anything as well. Um, once I started looking and I seen also, now I looked up the student loan forgiveness. The student loan forgiveness program, I did qualify because I am military. However, that program does have where you have to wait almost 10 years. And you see the big controversy right now where some student loans are being repaid. So many applications were submitted. And I think to this date, they only paid out like 315. So I'm like, did I want to wait for 10 full years and don't know if I will even be in that number to get my student loan repaid? That was not something that I wanted to do at all. So then when I started researching, I noticed that private loans has a whole different set of rules than federal student loans have. So if you have private loans, you can actually submit for private loans under mitigating circumstances. You can also submit if you have any type of disability. You can also submit if you filed bankruptcy. So a lot of times we hear what the news put out and they say, hey, you must be 100% disabled or you must have this to get your student loans forgiven. That is not the case at all. You can actually call for private loans and see if there's anything or any circumstance that you can actually file for and this took off a big chunk of my money so i actually called um the student loan i called navient and i said hey i am ready to pay you <laughs> is there anything that I qualify for? I told them that, hey, I have served in two wars. I am in the military. I told them all this information, what do I qualify for? They told me nothing. So I was of course disappointed. However, even though I was disappointed, to me, it just did not make sense that there was nothing that I qualified for. So I called almost every single day or every other day because I'm like there has to be some there has to be something that I qualify for I don't know I'm left-handed whatever it is it has to be something so when I called I end up getting a very nice representative and she explained to me that um by me being in the military and different things they do have a private loans are different they could not touch my federal loans with Navient. So the federal loans I had, she said I would have to pay them, but with my private loans, I could submit a letter on my behalf and asking them, hey, this is why I would like a discharge or is, is this a reason can you actually consider doing this for me? I submitted, she said it takes four to six weeks to find out. Guys, guess what? Guess what? Like, oh my God, guess what? they approved my discharge when they end up approving my discharge they approved my discharge i think it was for like twenty five thousand dollars so remember i said i only wanted to pay twenty five thousand dollars a year towards my debt so in my mind i've knocked a completely one year off my debt program so i was too ecstatic and so I had never known about this. I was looking, I was researching. There was a lot of different things online. So I would say for the time that I took to research, it yielded me $25,000. So it was definitely well worth me doing the research and that's what i'm going to say to you make sure you start to research if you're a single mom is there any programs anything there has to be something out there and so i would definitely say research continue to call your servicer see if there's anything at all so that is tip number two devise a plan and research all right so for tip number three i signed up for auto pay so I noticed on the website that if you sign up for auto pay or have your student loans debited from your account, that you can receive 0.25% off your interest rate or you're eligible for your loan. So even though it was not a lot of money, it was more money, it was some reduction. So on there to me, 
you know, it's better than zero. I wasn't <laughs> for me to make those payments. So I did sign up for auto pay and I was definitely willing to go ahead and have them debit from my account and get some type of reduction. So that was tip number three. I would say to definitely sign up for auto pay. Tip number four is I enrolled in school. Now, by me enrolling in school, no, I did not take out any more student loans by no means at all. I've learned that lesson, okay? But my employer does offer where they will pay for you to go to school each year towards a degree-seeking program. So I said, you know what? If I'm working here anyway, I might as well take advantage of the benefit that's offered to me. And also by enrolling in school for my student loans, it stopped the interest rate and it stopped my payments on them. So I know there's going to be a lot of backlash in the comments and they'll be like well your student loans still accrue interest and they still do all this that's why I'm going to tell you that's watching this video to make sure you research and not listen to what other people tell you not all servicers will still charge you student loans while you're in um, charge you interest while you're enrolled in school and so my student loans they did not charge any interest while I was enrolled in school so for me it's just like okay this allows me to be in school seeking another degree but not only seeking another degree it stops my student loan payment for now and it allows me to pay them as i see fit so i knew in my mind i was going to pay them but sometimes you know when they issue your student loan payment they say you may have to pay thirteen hundred dollars for the month that is a lot of money to have to pay and i did not want to go on a repayment plan I did not do that so I enrolled in school since it would be free and so if you have that option available for you I would definitely say enroll in school not to take out more student loans but to kind of help you and haunt your student loans and make sure that you won't be charged interest and different things so definitely let's go back to tip number two and do your research and make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into. So for tip number five, I signed up for a bi-weekly payment. So you already know I enrolled in auto pay. Not only did I enroll in auto pay, but I signed up for them to debit out of my account every two weeks. So every two weeks that I received a payment and that my husband received a payment, we automatically sent that payment to the student loan servicer. Now, with that being said, another caveat is we started off with the student loans you can have where you send your payments and it actually goes to whichever student loan that you want. So you can specify, like if you have only a student loan that you owe $300 towards, you can specify which student loan that you want it to go to. So we set up every time that we receive any type of bonus at work, any tax refund check, anything that we received, it did go towards the um, Navient first. Now, with that being said, guys, that was definitely hard to do because imagine you're getting paid all this money and you're sending five, six hundred, a thousand dollars towards your student loans, but I really want it to be done. And so for me, it was just like, you know what, let's go ahead and send it, let's send it. And so every two weeks, I didn't even really notice it because it was going, it was already deducted from my check before I had my check. So it was like by the time, as soon as my check hit my account, the money was being pulled out and it was kind of like, it, it made me not able to spend at stores because I knew that that student loan transaction would be pending. So it kind of curbed my spending habits because you know that every two weeks like clockwork, you're gonna have to pay Navi and Sally Mae, you're gonna have to do that. So I signed up for auto pay. So let's go ahead and go to the next tip. All right, so for tip number six, I started to search for free money that is correct there is a lot of free money out there and i'm not just speaking of settlements or different things like that but what i found out was that my um, news station was doing a honor the heroes or they were doing like a teacher of the week or they were doing different essays and you can get you can earn up to twelve hundred dollars it was twelve or thirteen hundred for writing an essay so of course we started to write essays and of course I won so I was definitely excited about that so that was an additional $1,300 here on this channel I talk a lot about deals and different shopping tips that are going on in stores so I took some of those um, shopping bargains and deals that I was able to get and I sold that on Poshmark and I was able to generate another $2,000 on Poshmark so that brought me already at like $3,300, $3,400 not only from that um, we had Obviously, in the military, we had different reenlistment bonuses. 
not only re-enlistment bonuses, but if you were willing to change your job, if you were willing to do that. So that was another $10,000 that I was able to receive. So on there, I would say definitely start to research all free money for tip number five, because you just never know. There may be essays that you can write not only are there essays that you can write, it may be that if you sign up to do different research that you can earn money doing this. So it was not really anything that was out of the norm. I did not have to go clock in another job. I did not have to go give my left kidney away. I didn't have to do any of that. The only thing I had to do was take out a little time, write an essay, um, and sell some of the things on Poshmark. So that knocked off another just say, 13 to 15,000 on the free money that I was able to secure. And not only was I able to secure um, the free money, but obviously I'm on YouTube. So you're able to get paid from YouTube. And this is a super easy way platform for you to make money on. So between YouTube, Poshmark, um, not only that, but searching out for free money, writing different things, you can definitely find a lot of money out there easily easily okay so let's go ahead and go on to tip number seven all right so for tip number seven i capitalized on free services not only free services but i bartered with the services that i have um so for example like I get it. You're going to have to spend some money on different items that you normally use, such as like you getting your hair done or you needing a haircut or different things like that. So for me, um, I signed up to be a hair model for one of the local beauticians, which means I was able to get my hair trimmed and cut and just everything at no cost at all for being one of her hair models. Not only did I do that, but I capitalized on like free vacations at work. So at my job, if we do very well, they have different events throughout the year where you may have to do work travel and go and attend, which I was able to go to Chicago. My husband was able, he had a few work trips. So what we did was capitalize on the work trips that we had and made them kind of like our vacation trips as well. So we didn't have to spend um, money on vacation as well as if there were local stores or boutiques that needed for like say if they wanted to do video footage by no means am i a videographer but i am on youtube and a lot of people aspire to be on youtube or they just aspire to create content and they're not sure how to do it so it was easy for me to offer my services and say hey let's go ahead and trade for this this and that so i did do that as well and then also i have a blog which is thriftinghuntsville.com now i don't update that blog as much as i should but it is still a blog a working blog and here in huntsville we don't have that many bloggers so when different events came to town like cirque du soleil or um we had just i think like charlie brown christmas or different events of course they reached out to local bloggers and people that were just known throughout the city so i was able to go ahead and get free tickets in exchange for a blog post so a lot of times that we think that we have to have these big numbers or you have to have a strong following for you to get those things there are some companies that don't mind in doing in exchange and i think honestly they rather do that with the smaller um, influencers or just the smaller channels and so i was able to do that youtube i was able to actually do exchange videos for clothing not only clothing um just for different items so a lot of times you don't have to have those big numbers because some people that are starting their business they don't have a big budget either so it's more of hey can we give you this in exchange for this and sometimes you can't do that and so for 2019 i definitely capitalized on those opportunities and so it was able to save me some money and i was able to get out and still enjoy myself and not feel as restricted where i could not go to a restaurant or i could not do any of those things so let's go ahead and bring it home <laughs> last but not least guys i'm gonna say is tip number eight is that you can do it okay i know it may seem hard i know it may just seem like right now you're living paycheck to paycheck but of course like i said you have to eat the elephant one bite at a time so you have to really just devise that plan and maybe right now you're not in a position where you can even pay five dollars to your student loans but make sure you stay on top of it make it known do not try to go into um, collection status and just work with them the more that you take you know i guess take control of your situation 
and get in front of it, the better off that you will be. And put in the work. Like, do the work if it takes that you have to get an additional job or if you have to get off social media or if you have to do certain things, I promise you it will work out for you in the end. And while I'm not finished paying off my student loans by no means, I knocked out $90,000 in 2019, okay? So that is a big feat for me. And not only is that a big feat for me, but now all I owe is $80,000. Like I am completely debt free except for my house and the $80,000 of student loans. And so if I paid off 90,000 in one year, what do you think I'm trying to do this year? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think I'm just about to vacation? No, I want to pay off. And if we can pay off $80,000 this year, then what do you think I'm going to try to do next? Pay off my house. So it gives you that momentum. It gets it going for you where you're just like, wow, I can do this thing. And if I can do it, guys, I know for a fact that you can do it. So comment down below. Let me know how much do you owe in student loans? Do you have a plan? Are you scared? What's stopping you? What can you do? We are only in the first month of 2020. So if we're only in the first month, you have 11 more months to get this thing together. And maybe your goal is just to get on track or not live paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. Whatever that looks like, comment down below. We can hold ourselves accountable. Come back next year at this time and we'll check in and see how much we owe. But you have to start somewhere. So don't think, you know, don't despise small beginnings, okay? Definitely. So please like comment subscribe and if you want to see some sales deals or you know what what you can do to make that money stretch a little bit you already know what to do tune into this channel and i got you all right talk to you later bye